Um, well, the question is, what happens after someone becomes addicted to alcohol, becomes addicted to prescription medications, becomes addicted to illicit drugs such as cocaine and heroin? What happens after they get clean? What happens after they get treatment and they sober up? Well, that's a very, very question. There's a lot to answer that. But the main tenets that we would think about with a recovering brain is the fact that the person has been literally assaulting their brain with drugs, which have kind of hijacked the way the brain works. And what they've done is, depending on what kind of drug they've taken, they've either overused certain brain chemicals or they've lit up different pathways and neurological connections which cause them to crave drugs and then once the drugs are gone to feel incapacitated because they're not there. There's a part of neural chemistry called neuroplasticity and it's very important to those of us in the recovery field. And what that means is, is neuroplasticity means that neurons throughout the brain are starting to connect in different ways. Well, when the addiction process is going on, people hijack their neurons and, and cause them to connect in different ways that aren't healthy. Thus, when they give up the drugs, they go through the process of disconnecting those neural pathways and learning new things, recovery principles, behavioral changes, new ways to think, new learning, which causes neurons to connect to other neurons in healthy ways. This is not an easy process. It takes months, even several years after a number of years of substance abuse for someone's brain to finally get on that pathway. Things that help it out, once again, is nutrition, cognitive therapy, many forms of psychiatric medications help this process, and of course, people just being patient with themselves and realizing that their brain is going from one condition and over a period of time we'll get to another condition which is more where it needs to be. The longer the substance abuse goes on for, the more damage or neuroplastic development goes on that's not healthy, and then the longer it generally takes for someone to get back to a, a condition of stable living, reduced anxiety, reduced depression.